Hey y'all and welcome to Royer's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm so glad you decided to join me again. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel as we are working towards a thousand subscribers. And once you subscribe, hit that notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind and comment down below your thoughts and opinions because you know I love to read them and respond to them too, all right? Y'all, listen, this uh, Jamie Foxx situation is not sitting in my spirit, y'all. It ain't sitting in my spirit, right, okay? So earlier today, I seen, or earlier this morning, rather, I seen an article, you know, that said that Mr. Fox um, had a stroke. He was hospitalized um, due to a stroke, and so here that is, okay? So, um... While Jamie Foxx is in the hospital after a stroke, this is what they tell us, director Seth Gordon uses his stunt double as a stand-in per report. Now, Jamie Foxx had been rushed to the hospital because of an unknown condition, and while the doctors are performing all kinds of tests, the shooting of his back-in-action movie is not stopping, Okay. Jamie Foxx remains in the hospital still, okay? Now, director Seth Gordon is currently using Travis Parker, his stunt double, as stand-in for some of his scenes with other actors like Cameron Diaz, okay? Now, it is yet to be revealed what Jamie Foxx's condition is, but it seems serious as reported by TMZ. Jamie Foxx family flew to see him at the hospital where he is getting diagnosed, okay? So, first of all, I want to say prayers and thoughts to Jamie Foxx, speedy recovery, prayers and thoughts to your family as well, okay? Now, the medical emergency has had him in the hospital since Thursday. According to doctors, Jamie will be in the hospital at least for a few more days. And because there is no diagnosis, the doctors have not cleared him to go back to filming anytime soon, okay? Now, they were in Atlanta when they were doing filming, and so he you know, allegedly, according to what they are saying, had a stroke. And so um, prayers up and speedy recovery, as they said. Jamie Foxx's regular filming hours are long and still has eight shooting days to go. But it seems that those eight days are critical for the filming, for the film's development. Um, Y'all, so I, I, I was reading this. And so even last night, um, Last night, I was when we were talking about this with Diva on our podcast. I was just like, something ain't right. There's there is just missing pieces, and so people have all kinds of assumptions that you know substance abuse is involved. You know, and 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 I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I, I'm not putting my mouth on nothing. But for me, as a content creator now, someone who's in the public eye, if you may, or whatever, you know, when people find out stuff about me, I personally would rather just go ahead and let it out and be what it is versus picking around, you know, leaving this big question mark in the air of what is going on. And so, you know, it brought me to my remembrance, a little story that I had heard back earlier in March, you know, regarding Cameron Diaz, you know, in a meltdown, you know, on set. So, here, Cameron Diaz and Jamie Foxx are back at work after his alleged meltdown on set that caused her to retire from acting again. So, you know, this was back in March. March 23rd is when this article was done. And so it looks like Jamie was having problems before this alleged stroke that has happened. So, you know, I read this article and, you know, kind of got into it. And so uh, allegedly, according to this article, you know, someone on the staff um, was trying to involve Jamie in a scheme. And, you know, he didn't appreciate it. He didn't like it. He blew up, had a whole situation. So, you know, let me just read you this real quick and then I'll give my final thoughts and opinions, okay? After he had an alleged meltdown on the set of their up-and-coming movie, Back in Action, which dragged her, her, speaking of Cameron Diaz, out of retirement. Many people are wondering what all 
it, uh, this Cameron Diaz and Jamie Foxx drama is about, okay? Now, Diaz um, stepped away from the action, you know, filming and all that in 2014. And then four years later, she decided to retire, okay? Um, she told us in Kevin Hart's uh, Heart to Heart in 2021, when I do something at a really high level for a long period of time, um, when, excuse me, when you do something at a really high level for a long period of time, when you're the person that's sort of delivering on this one thing, everything around you, all parts of you that isn't that has to sort of be handed off to other people, Diaz said. Just the management of me as a human, Cameron Diaz, is a machine. But for my personal spiritual self, I was re relieved, I, excuse me, I was relieving that one part of me that functioned at a high level wasn't enough, okay? So Cameron was tired. She's been working. She's been doing, you know, putting in her time. And so she needed to step back and take a break. And so her friend, Jamie Foxx, brought her out of retirement to come and do this movie, okay? But Diaz was lured back into the business by Foxx to star alongside him in an up-and-coming Netflix action comedy film, his fifth original for the streaming giant. Um, they worked together in 1999's sports drama, Any Given Sunday, in 2014, Any Remake, which was Diaz's final movie role before retiring. Here's why she might be calling it quits on the industry again, okay? So what is the Cameron Diaz and Jamie Foxx drama? The Sun reported on March 15, 2023, production for Fox and Diaz film Back in Action, her first film in nine years had temporarily halted a four a halted and four people had been fired after Fox had a meltdown on set. Now, um, Jamie, I understand you're a star, and I understand you've been in this game for a very long time. And so I think that's where I struggle with this, you know, and, and you're a man of a particular age. To be having meltdowns, I believe Jamie's 55, I believe, to be having meltdowns, you know, at, at that age, it, 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 it's, it's scary. It, it, it's a bit much, you know. Um, yeah, 55, so he's 55. And, and, and you're having meltdowns on set, sir, because you're unhappy with something that's going on, with someone that's trying to involve you in some alleged scheme, you just couldn't turn them away and ask, you know, for production to have them escorted off set immediately. You know, we couldn't continue filming, but okay. There have been some issues on set and Jamie has had a major meltdown over it all, the insider said. He demanded the problem be sorted immediately and sacked four of production staff as if that would magically improve the situation, the source added. Some people working on it are totally fed up with how this has played out and Jamie has become pretty unpopular. So, you know, according to this source, you know, Jamie has been having some issues, you know, and, you know, he's become very unpopular to, you know, the production for this new action movie, um, back in action that they are filming. And so, you know, it's amazing. You're filming an action movie, you know, and you're back in action, talking about action, and you're giving some action, sir. You're giving meltdowns. You're giving strokes, allegedly. You know, you, you're giving a lot, okay? Now, according to the Daily Mail, a worker on the film had tried to involve Fox in a $40,000 scam. The same employee may have been involved in past attempt scams involving wealthy celebrities. The police were allegedly called on set of back in action over Fox's dispute. Um, uh, a source told The Sun, this film has been a bit of a nightmare. So it, it looks like the people are completely unhappy working with you, Mr. Fox. There have been a lot of delays, especially with the weather, thanks to filming outdoors in London and winter. But lately, is but latest issue is excuse me. But the latest issue is a bit more minister. One staffer has been sacked, 
and there are investigations after someone tried to accuse to access 33,000 in cash from Jamie Foxx. The insider continue, it sounds as though they tried to offer up a Rolex which as a part of the deal which as a part of the deal, but now there's an investigation into everything going on. People will be glad when this is uh, finally wrapped, okay? So the people are done, you know? They, 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 they don't want to work with Jamie anymore, you know? And so you can finish reading the rest of this article over on stylecaster.com, but I, you know... I just, I had to bring this up, y'all, because it was just like, the pieces are connected. And I think there's a deeper issue. Um, You know, once you reach the level of stardom and fame that Jamie Foxx has, you know, I I think that you kind of tend to lose touch with reality. And from what I gather, you know, Jamie has lost a little touch with reality. He's lost touch with the people. He's lost touch how to deal with people and how to talk to people, according to what the source is telling us in this um, article from March of last month. You know, even if someone tried to involve me in the scheme, and there have been situations where people try to involve me in a scheme, let me tell you, this technology right here, the people will get you caught up each and every time if you let them. There are people that message me on Instagram all the time wanting me to invest, you know, in their cash or in their businesses and they'll send me cash chats and all I got to do is send them this money and I'll get a, a bigger return back and all this extra stuff. I didn't go flying out the hand them. I didn't cuss them out. I didn't have to, you know, do all this extraness. I politely either told them no thank you or I blocked them or I got them out of my space. You know, there is a level in a certain way that you handle certain things. You know, regardless of your status of who you are and what you think you do for everybody, there is just a certain way that you handle certain situations. And Jamie, you know, according to what the source is saying and according to what the director is saying, you know, they have moved on with filming because they're trying to wrap this thing up so that they don't have to deal with you no more because you have been problematic. Okay, sir. You know, and now you've had the stroke, allegedly. You know, and who knows, you know, what's really going on now. The streets are saying that there's substance abuse involved. I don't know that to be true, so I'm not going to put that out there. That's an allegation, allegedly. But, you know, the pieces add up, you know. You're having meltdowns. You're getting upset. You're having people fired. Now you didn't have a stroke, you know. It, it, it just, and I think the bigger picture for me is, is that then when your family did release a statement, we didn't get any kind of information on what's really going on. So now you're leaving these question marks in everybody's head and everybody's kind of questioning what may or may not, you know, what rumors could be going and what's not really going on. It's just a lot, sir. It's a lot. And the people have questions and we want answers because, Though you have, you know, you're an individual and you deserve privacy, you are on a public platform. You're a celebrity and you actually really, you've been a celebrity for a very long time, sir. And so the people, we feel connected to you. We feel like family. Like for me, I've been watching the Jamie Foxx show since I know for sure the 2000s, for sure. Though it was filmed before then. I remember watching. I remember it coming on TV. I remember Fancy, Auntie Helen, you know, you, Braxton, Uncle Junior. You know, the characters are unforgettable. You made us a part of your life. You know, um, your music. Sir, you, you are a music genius. We love your music, Jamie Foxx. I mean, uh, sir. You're a model. You're excellent. Listen, I mean, and, and and you 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 got the songs. You know, I'm in love with the stripper. She ride and she go and she go. I mean, come on, sir. Blame it on the I, 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 alcohol. I mean, sir, you, you you have given us songs, so we connect with you. We we see you, sir. I mean, look at this. Look at the discography. The discography. Excuse me. Look at this song after song after song after song after song. Sir, we have songs. 
We have movies. I mean, you have given us, I mean, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Song. For days. Look at this. Sir, we are connected to you. We want to know what's going on. We want to know how to pray for you. We want to know how we can help you. You are our distant family. Like Wendy Williams used to say, you are a friend in our head. You're our family in our head, sir. We have been through so many movies together, so many shows together, so many commercials, so much music. We're concerned, and we want to know what's going on, Jamie. Prayers to you and your family. Y'all, hit the like button on this video. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. You know, did y'all know about this meltdown that happened last month in March on the same movie that he has now had an alleged stroke in? You know, and now Cameron Diaz, she want to go back in retirement. She's like, I'm not with this drama. This is why I came out of the film industry and the, the business. Because of all this extras and drama, she don't have time. And we don't either, sir. Mr. Fox, I'm praying for a speedy recovery. You know, if it is alleged substance, substance abuse in this, sir, you're not alone. There are so many people out in this world who, who need someone to look up to. Um, because you have the money to get yourself together, you, you can be the example for the people who don't have it. To say, if Jamie can do it, why can't I? Come on, Mr. Fox, we depended on you. The world is watching you. And not to put any pressure on you, but sir, we're watching you. We love you and we want to see you do well. And even if it's not substance abuse, even if it is health concerns, sir, let us know. We see that you're in good shape. You're health, you know, you look healthy, but just because you look healthy doesn't mean you are healthy. And you would be a great, you know, example for people to see, wow, he's just like me. You know, and I need to get my health together because I want to be around just like Jamie Foxx. Sir, be the example for the people. We love you. We're praying for you and your family, a speedy recovery, you know, and, 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 and prayerfully the doctors find out everything that's going on and we can get you back in good, in a good space, a good, healthy, positive space. Okay. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Um, once you subscribe, hit that notification bell on all. Leave your comments down below in the comment sections. If there's anything that you would like me to talk about, email me, R-O-Y-A-I-R-E-S, world at gmail.com, or leave it down in the comment section, and I'll be sure to check out that story. I'll see y'all next time, and have a great, positive, fun Saturday. Bye.